Let's build your color palette. No design degree required. There are two tools that I like to use when I'm thinking about color palettes. One of them is Adobe Color and the other one is Coolers.co. I'm going to show you how both of those work. The first thing that you're going to want to do is choose your primary brand color. Now remember, this isn't one that you're going to base off of your favorite colors. This is going to be based off of color psychology and how you want your audience to feel. I gave an embarrassingly brief overview of color psychology in my last post, so go back and watch that one if you need to. Once you have that primary color in mind, I like to think about whether I want my palette to be complementary or analogous. If you don't remember this from art school, complementary means that the colors are across from one another on the color wheel. Analogous means that the colors are next to each other on the color wheel. Now, a high contrast color palette communicates a lot of energy, and a low contrast color palette can feel a little bit softer and more cohesive. So I like to have a general idea of what I have in mind before I open up one of these tools. Okay, so let's dive into Adobe Color first. The first thing that we're going to see is their color wheel. And you can see there's a drop down here that's going to allow us to choose what kind of color harmony we want. This dot right in the circle that has the triangle on it, that one is my primary color. And as I drag it around, the other color harmony rules are going to be based on that primary color. I can drag it to be a lighter or darker shade, and then I can also drag the individual individual accent colors. So let's say that my primary color is a shade of pink. I'm going to try different color harmonies keeping that same primary color. So I might like something kind of monochromatic. There's that complementary again where you can see this is super high contrast, a little bit more high energy. And you can feel free to play around with the color wheel until you find something that speaks to you. Another thing I really like to use Adobe Color for is to extract a color palette out of an image that I really like. And it's automatically going to pull out a nice color palette for me. Go to the main menu and click on Explore. You're going to see pre-made color palettes. Do not feel like you have to create your color palette from scratch. If you have absolutely no design background whatsoever, I recommend you pick one of these. Remember the three words we chose to define our brand's visual aesthetic? Use the search bar and search for one of those terms. So one of mine was dreamy and look at all of the different suggestions it's giving me. That's a really basic overview of Adobe Color, but I also really love this tool called coolers.co. And this is a color palette generator that allows you to cycle through random colors and save the ones that speak to you. So if I click on start the generator, it's automatically going to cycle through beautiful color palettes. If there's one that I really like, all I have to do is click the lock button and it will save that color. So I'm going to save these two shades of pink and I'm going to keep going until I find colors that really speak to me. Once you have the colors you're satisfied with, you can copy their hex codes right here at the bottom and put those into Canva. In the next video, we're going to take your color palette and make sure that it's accessible to all people, even those with low vision or who are on an older device.